Um, I don't think I've seen you before. Is this dude dying or what? That's a creepy start to the episode. What is speaking of? Ouch. Look at those wounds. Oh, yeah, he is dying. What is it? It's a monster. Okay, then. It's a monster. I've got luck. Huh? Another witcher. That was quite an epic start. Are you on its tracks? Of course it would go here, where there is a lot of meat. Food, in other words. If that even is what it likes to eat. What was it called? Avukodlak? I don't even know. I bet there will be a jump scare. Oh my god, that scared me. Wait, what happened to him? Was he taken down? I didn't know that you were into that kind of stuff. I thought maybe you didn't need it, but I suppose it's a positive surprise. Or what do you guys think? A friend of yours came through here last month, headed for Temeria. He's like, I don't have any friends. Your boy took the coin and ran. He's like, what is going on? Learning about the world in the previous episode, especially about the great cleansing, was just so interesting. The world is growing, we're even getting introduced to new characters, and it looks like Yennefer is gonna be one of the main characters, together with Geralt and Cyrilla of course. So we have a witcher, a princess and a witch. Sounds like a perfect fairy tale. The only thing is that a lot seems very random right now. The people, the races, they're everywhere. Why? How come someone like me, for example, is in Sweden? There is a story behind it. It's not just random. I hope it's the same in that world. Things have to make sense, even if it's a fantasy. Most people probably don't care about stuff like that. They want representation. So do I, but it has to make sense. Like it did in Game of Thrones and The Lord of the Rings. Not sure about the upcoming series though. My thing is, respect the work and don't undermine a writer's world just to satisfy your own agenda. If people like me don't exist in that story, that's fine, I'm not gonna get offended. But if you insist on having me included, then find a way that is logical, within the rules of that world. Let's be real. I'm more of a Dothraki than a Northman, and it would make sense to see me in Dorne, but unless there is a story behind it, you probably won't find me in Winterfell. That's all I wanted to say. I hope there is a story behind why everyone is where they are, and I'm gonna trust that there is. That's all. But before we get into the episode, over half of you are not subscribed. If you enjoy what I'm doing, I'd appreciate it if you stayed. Also, I'm over on Patreon. I've probably already finished this season over there, and many other shows as well. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for the support. My son told me in Nilfgaard. Oh, Nilfgaard. While his subjects starved. Then someone came. Who's that someone? Oh, we're talking about usurpers again. They took back what was theirs. I say we follow the lead. So do I. Let's go. Oh, he's already here. He was not your kind. Or his kind. He was a fake. And if you can't kill it, then have your revolution. And you can go on with your plan. Now wait, excuse me, but calm down, soldiers. We were about to fight, but change of plans. And return to your homes. Oh, interesting. Everyone is ready. Guys, let's calm down. Come on. See this one to our borders. Tamaris had their fill of witches. All right, cool guy. What the hell happened to them? I didn't see anything. Oh no! Someone is here. Says the witch hiding in. Oh, a witch. It's Marigold. I serve King Falter. Well, this is an interesting situation. I want you to help me save it. What? Did I read that correctly? And hear it correctly? Help her save it? What do you mean, though? A good luck to freak mutations. Freak mutations? Well, good thing it's not a good, good luck. I want to see... Oh, wait. What? 2,000 orange if you can tell me what exactly killed these people. Let's do it. You've lived for a long time. Maybe you know. What does that mean? Only one creature I know is Perfect. We've got it. Astriga. 
Astriga. Oh, I want to see that now. A princess. I like that he has so much experience explaining everything to us. It would be quite complicated if he was a beginner. Now, what is going on here? For real? What? Wait. Were they watching? For real? Why the hell are they watching? What is this? <laughs> what is this? This is so bizarre. Secondhand embarrassment here. What? Everyone is gone. Maybe it was some kind of illusion. Well, it looks like they had a great time. So I won't judge them. Do what you want to do. Well, she seems a lot more confident. That's nice. You're bound for Aiden. Yes. Oh, let's go. So... What the hell is he gonna do? An extreme makeover? Now pick. So many choices, or what? We remake ourselves on our terms. The world has no say in it. Some great pep talk. Close your eyes. Should I close my eyes? Imagine the most powerful woman in the world. You're just confusing me. I wonder what she will see though. She's stunning. Oh my god, look at her eyes. What a lovely color. Very unique. Well, he's speaking facts, you better listen. What was that voice? Freaking grunt, that wasn't even a word. <laughs> that was amazing! <laughs> Let's go, Geralt! Three episodes in and I already love him. I love those questions. I don't even want to interfere right now. He's owning him, and he doesn't even have to be aggressive. Okay, don't deflect. Come on. We're talking about you right now. And never come back. Of course. She's like, I'm so disappointed. What is this meeting even? Sounds like an important meeting. Change of plans or what? Oh, why is he, she so serious? All in favor of Yennefer to Nilfgaard instead of Fringilla. Jennifer to Nilfgaard. I don't know about that. It would probably happen, and I'm not sure if it's a good thing. King Fergus chose this. Not me. King Fergus of Nilfgaard. That's where you are going, apparently. I demand an audience with the chapter. You're not gonna get one. Efforts in Sintra prevent the Brotherhood from placing the mage with elven blood in Aiden's court. You know, that is a problem. She's like, oh my god, someone snitched. I did not. Someone else did. Now we have a problem. She realizes what has happened? Trust issues. <laughs> Let's throw it. Oh, they are panicking. But does he even know for sure? What will they discover? He looks a bit freaked out. Okay. Let's take a look. Show me, please. I want to know as well. I wanted to read it. She refused. Oh, here we go. You're explaining it. She should imagine her brother. Certainly not like this. She was ashamed. Or she was frightened. Yeah, maybe. Probably. Okay, quite a complicated situation. Your scent was on her sheets. Oh no. He's calling him out. Now we're getting it. What we wanted. Some of the truth. You cursed the woman you loved. I cursed Foltest, not her. Well, I don't know. Tell us how to live the curse. He's like, no. Oh, no. <laughs> As I said, he's amazing. I was like, he needs a slap. And then he goes up to him and just punches him. Even better. I have my father sign his deed declaring me his natural born daughter and not an elven bastard. Do you really think this slip of paper will form the chapter? Yena. Get your hands away from me! Well, I understand her anger and disappointment. I'm sorry, I had no way of knowing how the information would be used. I have a hard time with this dude. I'm not sure if I would be able to trust him again. My world is cruel. 
What a comeback. Oh no. This was a... I really like this little argument. He's like, what are you talking about? Uh, excuse me, what the hell? Are you sure about that? He's like this again. Is he ready to flex his powers again? My daughter. Be normal. She only has special care. She said as an animal. And who's gonna give that special care? Is there anyone competent here? Okay. This kinda went better than I expected. Witcher. Be quiet. How can I lift the curse? Tell me and I will release you. She sold me a lamb. I'm not interested. Skip skip the nonsense, my dude. So that's about the chant. And then I bathed in the lamb's blood until sunrise. Until sunrise? Man, he's crazy for real. What was the chant? years ago. Oh, don't pretend as if you don't remember. Elven. An elven chant. Of course it was. Okay, write it down, Geralt. Unless you already know it. Oh, well, I think he recognizes it. Oh my god, is that freaking Striga so powerful? Oh, very nice. Leave my eyes. Yep, I'd leave them too. I'd leave a lot, actually. That was loud and scary. Geralt, are you sure about this? Should you be doing it alone? Can't you get out of here? Oh no, what is going on? This is gonna get ugly. Ouch. Look at that creature. 1v1 me. It will break the freaking chains. <laughs> oh. No, that is... What the hell is he doing now? Circumcising her or what? What is this episode? We're dealing with some devilish stuff. Hello? Hello? Wake up! Wake up! Man, that monster or creature is destroying you right now. What the hell? Did he take out her ovaries or what? What even was that? All I saw was a bloody lump. Well, she's freaking strong. Her freaking spine. Some light. Let's hurry to the light. Or maybe not, I don't know. The creature is freaking out. So, what happened to that... Oh, someone is laying there. The light probably did something. That was a smart move, actually. Very well done, Geralt. I think that person is moving. What the hell? Ah! Well, she's wild. He said that. But what is going on with him? My dude, are you dying? What? Nah. What is going on? What the hell is going on? Oh! Hello there! Everyone's like, can I have your number? Don't you dare get close to her. I wonder if her personality will change with this. Jennifer Vengerberg. My apologies, your excellence. Please allow me to remove this misguided girl. And what sort of a king refuses a dance with one of his subjects? Haha! <laughs> this is nice. On your lead, your excellence. Look at that confidence. She's like, I'm taking charge right now. Man, I might fall for that. Oh, she is angry. And so is he. Maybe even more. Well, that was an interesting development. But I'm here for it. What a glow up. Yes, that was nice, seeing him regret everything. Geralt, are you alive? How are you doing? Oh, he's still thinking about Renfrey. She's living Renfrey in his head. 
Of course he wouldn't die. He's like the main character, but you never know. Game of Thrones have made me paranoid. Anyone else would have killed the princess. You chose not to. Yeah, he's a good guy, you know. No Cyrilla in this episode. Oh, speaking of her, here she is. Now how are you doing, girl? And where is Ratboy? Is he tagging along? Or are you separated again? I would be very careful walking in the open like that. And here he is. He's like, huh? Am I alone again? Where is she? Did she just leave him or what? I don't know, guys. What should I call her? Siri or Cyrilla? Siri! No, Siri! don't freaking yell. Siri! Who shot that arrow? And what is she doing? Why isn't she listening? That's the end of Rat Boy. Is that Forrest doing something to her? Talking to her? Girl, snap out of it. It might be some kind of genjutsu. I'm not sure that was a good idea to walk inside. So, what happened in this episode? Well, Geralt almost died and Yennefer got circumcised. Welcome to the club, girl. No, but for real. I love her glow up and the confidence that gave her. I'd say that this was the darkest episode so far. It even made me uncomfortable and that's hard to achieve, especially after my Game of Thrones experience. The topics in this episode were very interesting. I really enjoyed the whole Striga mission. I'm especially satisfied with how Geralt dealt with it. He is a bit raw, but I think he's done with all the nonsense. He seems to be a character who believes in consequences. And Jennifer, well, she's slowly becoming a goat. I love how she pretty much got back on everyone, especially Steg and his little loser boy. Man, he's annoying. Is that what you call an f-boy? Yennefer going through her makeover was probably my favorite part of this episode. It showed her determination. They even cut her balls off. But I also loved Geralt speaking facts to that king. A lesson the fool needed. I'm gonna give this episode an 8 out of 10. My only problem is that not every sentence has to be a mystery. It can be hard to keep up on first attempt. So, would you have preferred for Yennefer to link up with Nilfgaard or that other place? Let me know in the comment section. Nilfgaard would have been pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway guys, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this then please subscribe and leave a like, I'd really appreciate that. Now take care and see you next time. Thank you for being a watcher. This channel is proudly powered by Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, uncut watch-alongs, exclusive reactions, or if you simply want to see everything before everyone else does, then for the price of a drink, you can unlock it all. Follow the link in the description for more information. And most importantly, thank you for the support.